everybody. Let us look at technical view on the equity market. Nifty opened on positive note today. However, it couldn't build up on the gains. Uh, on the other hand, uh, it didn't uh, fall either. Uh, in fact, it was a sluggish session and ultimately uh, formed a doji pattern. Uh, on the downside, uh, Nifty has a strong support uh, from uh, 20 daily simple moving average, which is around 6175. And on the other hand, 61.8% retracement of the recent fall, which is uh, 6210, is acting as a strong resistance. And we maintain our uh, reversal for the short term bias at 6210 on closing basis and keep our short term bias down for a target of 5900. Uh, the level is close to crucial weekly moving averages, that is 20, uh, 20 week simple moving average and 40 week exponential moving averages are lying near 5900, which is our short term target. The daily momentum indicator is still trading below the 9 period moving average and suggests that Nifty can start tumbling down from current level. On early chart, we can see that Nifty has retraced exactly 61.8% of the recent fall and uh, is trading near that uh, crucial Fibonacci level. So it can form some sort of uh, distribution pattern, uh, an ending diagonal of a small degree at this level before falling down. However, uh, we expect uh, next leg uh, to be on the downside. Even the early momentum indicator has given a fresh sell signal, uh, suggesting that uh, next leg down is around the corner. <clears throat> Moving on to Bank Nifty, uh, Bank Nifty uh, has also posted positive close for the third consecutive day and is trading above its 20 daily simple moving average. However, it has also retraced nearly 61.8% of the recent fall and the level is close to 11,230 which will act as a strong resistance on closing basis and we don't expect Bank Nifty to surpass that level and uh, in fact we expect it to start falling down from current level and can fall back towards its recent low which is around uh, where there is Delhi lower Bollinger Band as well. So that will be the crucial level to watch out for. Even uh, Delhi momentum indicator is in bearish mode in case of Bank Nifty as well. Crucial supports are 11,100 and 10,775. The crucial resistances are 11,350 and 11,600. Now we'll have a look at a couple of stocks which are showing bearish setups. First one is Reliance Infra. Uh, Reliance Infra has broken a medium term rising trend line and is trading near its crucial daily moving averages. Structurally, it has formed a fourth wave pullback and can start fifth leg on the downside. Today's negative daily close suggests that the fifth leg down has already begun. And the daily momentum indicator is in line with the uh, uh, wave structure, suggesting that uh, further downside potential is there. Stop loss can be placed at 433 and targets will be 410 and 400. Next is uh, Century Textile. Century Textile has done a significant rally and to end the rally, it has formed an ending diagonal pattern. As the name indicates, the pattern is formed at the end of a move and in this particular case, it will mark uh, end of the multi-month rise. And uh, once uh, it breaks its 20 daily simple moving average, the stock will be set for a significant decline. Uh, daily momentum indicator has given a sell signal uh, suggesting that bears are having upper end. And uh, stop loss can be placed at 292 and targets will be 280 and 274. Thank you.